talking about the COVID, just explain yeah. to the people, I know, I've, I've got some pictures I've got over the top. Things have changed. Yeah. Even today, there are different protocols yeah, well, on the training ground. In the initial EFL guidelines, it was, it, it was no group should share one dressing room. So they were in groups of four or five across downstairs dressing rooms. Um, but they did shower. That was part of the acceptance that you could eat here. Um, but as you see, the, I think this is what looks like. Yeah, this, yeah. This, 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 this is the room. We're in the dining room, right? I'll turn that around so people can see. This dining room is, is not in use. So. Yeah, and as you can see, there's, there's people, everyone's got a name tag on the back of the, yeah. on the, back of the chairs. Um, so it, you sat in that one chair, and, and that was the process that sort of went through the whole football club, really. Uh, treatment if you've seen Amy it was only a certain slot if you're in the gym there's only a maximum of five in the gym at any one time so we were very strict on that when we traveled and um, every player had to sit on a on a certain seat which replicated the seats they sat on in here um, and everybody had their, had, their, had their own room and we when we travelled away and all the staff travelled separately. It's funny they're even coming in ready changing. Yeah, well, well, but, yeah, well, last week we got the the amendment to that, um, and it's now not a it's now a regulation. It's not a it's not a guidance, which is which is which is much better about not changing. So we um, and there's two players who use the dressing rooms over there now. So every player's they're in pairs. Um, only they need the toilet, so they've got a toilet between two. They need to use that, um, but no one's allowed in the main entrance anymore. The gym is the side door, windows open. The medical room is entrance through the back door as well, so nothing is through the building. Upstairs is out of bounds, except for I think it's seven members of staff with two of them, um, and then on top of that, they they should they don't shower here now, so it's they they come in their kit. They train, they get in their cars, and they go home. So today we have a double session. We've got them in two groups of ten. Um, I think there's, there's five out there. There's, there's four or five in the gym. I think five is the maximum in the gym. Sorry. Um, again, but socially distancing. Go switch over and then you're home train. So again, when, when we when we can have chance, we could have put everybody together today, but we don't feel it's, it's not yeah it's not right. Um, the meeting, uh, we have to use the pavilion. We're very, very lucky. We can have the bifold doors completely open, um, so long as only a maximum of 12 in there. And um, with the doors open, with the airflow being sufficient enough, um, what's it with the airflow? It's 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 up minus two at the moment, so it's incredibly cold everywhere you seem to go. But no, it, people may think that I care for people away from the football club as well as the people in this football club. And if, if we were doing this wrong and and this is why I get angry and people's a bit, a bit naive people to criticise me to say I'm always talking about it. Well, the reason why, if I go to the garage on the way home and I stop uh, at, at the BP or stop at a shell garage or whatever it may be to fill my car up, I'd hate to think my protocols and work weren't sufficient enough that when I go there and I do touch something that I'm asymptomatic and I've transmitted it on somebody else with an oxygen. These, the, this is the, this is this, how severe this is and, and how serious that we're taking it.